Because I think, I want to stand in Blurton East, because I think there are areas of Blurton East that have been forgotten. There are areas of Blurton that are the main areas, which, yes, may, may be looked after, but there, there are areas that haven't been looked after for a long time, and people there feel forgotten. People that I've spoke to feel like nobody's listening to them. Nobody wants to do anything for their communities and their areas. But I think that should change and drive their vision forward. Everybody deserves to have a voice in the city. It's, it's our city. A lot of people in Burton East feel let down by what they're receiving. They, they don't know who their councillor is. They've never heard from their councillor. They've never had any literature. But they don't receive phone calls back from their councillor. And therefore nothing gets done in Burton East. People feel like they have no one to turn to. And I want to change the way people feel about the council and the city in Burton. That's why I want to stand in Burton East. Because I want to change the way people feel about our city. Yeah, I want to bring, bring, bring growth to, to Blurton. I want to make a difference at the City Council, where you can look at the city as a whole and you've got a vision to move it forward. But I want to make a difference for the people in Blurton that want to have a voice and, and want their communities to change and have the good things that have been happening in Stoke happen in Blurton. I am fairly new to politics, yes. Um, I got into politics a few years ago when my husband became the City Councillor. And the great things he's done for our area, and I want to run to other areas of the city that have been neglected for a long time. I've had people contact me about roads. I've, lots of the roads in Blurton have been forgotten, poorly conditioned, not, not looked after, not reported. We've had lots of potholes repaired. There's one particular area in Blurton where I think the road needs to be totally resurfaced. I've asked that to be put forward to the City Council, and hopefully that will be included in the plan for, for the following financial year. And that's an area of Burton that was forgotten. The, the people on that, that road don't know their councillor, haven't heard from their councillor, haven't had a councillor walk down their street to know what condition it's in. The things I want to do in Burton, uh, the green space needs to be well maintained, well looked after. It's, uh, it's a lovely area to walk through from Burton to Commons Mill, it's, but it needs maintaining, it needs to be cleaned up regularly, which I, I think can be done. Uh, the roads are very important. Um, and just work with the community to, to, to know what they want for the area and, and help deliver their vision for Burton. I'm a mum of two children, two small primary school children. I, uh, I live in the city, I've lived here for about 13 years. I'm married, myself and my husband run our own business. I'm lucky enough to work from home so I can I have the time to, to visit the people in Burton, attend meetings, work for Burton. I want Stoke to become somewhere where people have vision and somewhere where people have ambition and think our city can move forward. I don't want it to be stuck in the old ages where people think that Stoke's a, a dead town, that there are areas that are not worth visiting. I want all the areas of Stoke to be worth visiting. They, they are worth visiting. We have great industries and, and great visitor places around Stoke-on-Trent. Now I want it to be a place where people will visit and my children are proud to live 